All right, guys, got this Craftsman YT3000. I'll be honest, I don't even know what motor's in this thing. It's a 42-inch cut. Uh, what's in here? 21 horse Briggs Stratton. Anyways, a uh, nurse that I work with, uh, she told me that she was mowing her yard and the mower just quit. It wouldn't go anywhere. It was still running, but wouldn't go anywhere. I'm leaving it on the trailer. That way I ain't got to bend down so far. Uh, she said it just quit on her. I said, hey, anyway, I'll take a look at it. She said, yeah, that'll be fine. Go ahead and take a look at it. Um, this is it. Of course, it's on the trailer. So I already know that it is not deck related. She said the deck kept moving, but the mower itself would no longer go forwards or backwards. So with that information, and because it was running at the time that it cut off, we're going to go ahead and take a look to see what's wrong with this thing. The very, very, very first place I am going to look is right here under the seat, simply because many times there's a belt under this battery that could be bad so we're going to go ahead and we're going to disconnect this battery that actually looks pretty good uh, disconnect this pull the battery out then we're going to take a look at what's under this tray if we have to take any bolts or anything out like that i have never seen this mower before so i'm learning same as everybody else just from previous experiences i'm going to start here and see what happens from there so let's go ahead and Get this time lapse of getting the battery out and then I'll pick back up when I'm working on the frame. Okay, so now that the battery is out of the way, not sure if that's picking up or not, there is a broken fan down here. I'm not sure if you guys can see or not, but there is definitely, let's see if I can get it right there. See it right there just sort of hanging there? Let me move it around. There is a broken fan down there. I bet that broke and then threw the belt. Uh, so let's get this, get this tray out of here. It's actually really easy. You just pop this one off pop that side off there ta-da ta-da I'm gonna have to fight with these cords for a second I'm gonna do that off camera um, and then that's it uh, need to disconnect this from the seat um, and then uh, we'll, we'll pick this back All right, up. so now that I have both hands available this really isn't that hard you just sort of pick it up I'm only going to take out the negative I'm not really going to worry about the positive because I'm just going to be able to fold everything over. Ta-da! And that's out of the way and I can see exactly what happened now. Let's take a look right, at it. So we've removed the battery tray inside of here. This fan here that looks like it went on top of this pulley here has evidently broken. Um, definitely a lot of plastic, broken, melted stuff on here. The pulley itself seems to be okay. Just that, uh, that fan where it broke. Here's my belt, uh, right here. So not exactly sure what happened there, uh, but my belt is now back on there. That's, that's really all it took was to put the belt back on there and then, uh, I don't know, uh, I guess we'll have to get another, another pulley for this, uh, for this fan here. Um, that fits just like that. So that's really all this was, was a broken fan. Um, I have another theory. Uh, that'll hold the belt on at least for a little bit. Um, look at all that. Looks like I'm gonna have to find that. Probably something got ran over, some sort of uh, some sort of leaf rock, something like that. But I'm wondering if I 
release the brake if this belt will get tight. Because right now the parking brake is set. Uh, so let me let me release the brake and let's see what happens. All right, so let's release the brake together. Here we go. Yep. Pull it right back tight. It definitely is on there good now. Uh, so evidently, yeah, evidently this fan breaking off of here. You can see where it had been scrubbed in the past. Uh, not sure if the fan was was wrong or what, uh, but that was actually a really easy fix. Super easy fix uh, right there. Just gonna have to get another another fan there. Um, take that off and then uh, let's see if this will, uh, let's go ahead and see if this thing will run as it is or if it has to have this fan uh, to sort of to keep the belt on. All right, so after a little bit of deliberating with myself, I said, get the impact out. I'm gonna get this off of here, this nut off of here with a three quarter inch socket. It's gonna go right there. And we're going to rock it out of there. And I did release the parking brake. So the belt is tight around the pulley. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So, if you're like me, you're gonna have to use a bunch of bunch of extensions here. Let's go ahead and pop this off here. All right, so we got the nut off of there. Go ahead and pick this up. See on the bottom here, it's got three little prongs. Looks like it's been chewed up. The new one has three little prongs. You can see, I'm not sure if it's picking up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six prongs. There's only three on here, but it looks like there's spots where they line up as well. Let's go ahead and set this on here. If I, and then be sure we get it to in those prongs. That feels right. It's not sliding, so feels right. Now let's go ahead and get our nut on there. Start out just by hand tightening it. If I can get it on there there we go get it on there get it on there and we're gonna work it down here in just a second i imagine that this is probably not supposed to be like super duper torqued uh simply because uh you break the you break the fan all right so what i had to do last time is I actually had to hold the belt with my hand so i had to you know, sort of grab it squeeze like that. I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm going to do it, um, this time I'm going to do it with an actual ratchet. I'm not going to do it with the impact, uh, because I'm worried I'm going to break the fan. So I'm going to torque it down with the, with the ratchet. Uh, let's get a time lapse. All right, so in case you're wondering which fan this is, of course it is now on, it is not loose. I did hand tighten it and I gave it a good old, that ain't going nowhere. Uh, you know, just sort of torque it down. I did not use my impact. In case you're wondering the part and the part number I'm using here, it is a hydro gear. The part number is 53822. Hydro gear, part number 53822. In case you are wondering, that is what that is. Now, Let's go ahead and put everything back together and let's make sure it works. Everything is running. Currently sounds okay. The belt is on. The belt is on. I'm not sure if you can see it through the holes on the camera. I can sort of make it out. Uh, 
let's cut a strip in the yard and uh, you know let's see how everything goes because grass is pretty high so let's cut a strip So the fan seems to be working everything seems to be going just fine i've actually got the mower stuck pulling pretty good <coughs> so very easy fix just remove that battery right there and then everything else is pretty golden so hope it helps thank you much